Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 110 of 2021, appointing Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa as the head of the Kingdom of Bahrain's diplomatic mission to Saudi Arabia, with the rank of Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 58 of 2021 transferring the head of the Kingdom of Bahrain's diplomatic mission to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Hamoud bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also issued Edict 59 of 2021, appointing two directors at the Ministry of Finance and National Economy. Faisal Isa Hafid Hamad should be appointed as the Director of the Analysis and Information Directorate. Mohammed Abdullah Ibrahim al Awami shall be appointed as Director of Financial Resources Management Directorate. The Minister of Finance and National Economy shall second the Director mentioned in Article 2 to any government department. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 60 of 2021, appointing Hamad Faiz of Mohammed Al Mullah as the Director of Labour Inspection Directorate at the Labour Market Regulatory Authority. National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronised the graduation ceremony of the first specialised session for females at the Royal Guard. During the ceremony, a briefing on the first specialised training session for females, as well as its theoretical and practical programmes, was given. His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented the graduates with certificates and appreciation awards, congratulating them on their graduation and on passing the various stages of the specialised session successfully. His Highness lauded the outstanding level and planning of the training session, commending the efforts exerted by all trainers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed pride in the graduate's success in meeting all the requirements of the training session, urging them to showcase the noble military ethics derived from Islamic religion and authentic Arab values to become soldiers of truth and an asset to the kingdom, and wishing them every success in defending the homeland and protecting its gains with all determination and strength. Royal Guard Deputy Commander Major General Hamad Khalifa al Noemi and a number of Royal Guard officers attended the graduation ceremony.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the agreement signed between BRIEF and the Princess Alia Foundation in Jordan that aims to enhance cooperation in the fields of humanitarian work and rehabilitation for children with autism. His Highness affirmed that the agreement is following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, which reflects the strong bilateral ties between the two countries. His Highness affirmed that Bahrain is prospering in the field of humanitarian work, as well as treating and rehabilitating children through sports, especially following the series of achievements made by Bahrain in many fields. His Highness pointed out that this agreement represents a strong bilateral cooperation in the field of humanitarian work that achieves the aspiration of the two brotherly countries. The agreement was signed by Brief President His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa and Chairman of the Princess Alia Foundation, Her Royal Highness Princess Alia Al Hussein, with the participation of a number of the Royal Federation members. The Secretary General of the Zayed Higher Organization for People of Determination, Abdullah Al Hamidan, also followed up the signing of the agreement. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa delivered a speech where he conveyed the greetings of His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirming that this agreement embodies the directives of His Highness to cooperate with various institutions in rehabilitating autistic children. His Highness added that BRIEF has the experience in developing goals that aim to rehabilitate autistic children, noting the previous fruitful cooperation with the Zayed Hayef organisation. For her part, Her Royal Highness Princess Alia commended the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and BRIEF, affirming the Foundation's pride in this cooperation. The Bahraini Federation for Endurance Games inaugurated the Faisal bin Khalid Academy for the Gifted in the attendance of His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid. On this occasion, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the inauguration of the Academy and affirmed the importance of supporting Bahraini youth in various events, which is in line with the vision of His Majesty the King and his keenness to support the sports sector and harness the skills of the youth to represent the kingdom in various international events and achieve more successes. His Highness also praised the efforts of the Tamu Company in supporting Bahraini football with the support of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed hope that the Timu Academy will prepare the youth to represent the Kingdom's national clubs. The event commenced with a presentation of a short film about the history and achievements of the Endurance Federation. After that, the Federation Board Director Member Bada Nasser delivered a speech in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid. After that, the logo for the Faisal bin Khalid Academy and Timu Academy was launched. The Bahraini Federation for Endurance Games then presented the Highnesses with commemorative gifts. Cassation Court President and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chancellor Abdullah bin Hassan al Buenin. Attorney General Dr Ali bin Fadl al Buenin and the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al Khalifa, held a joint meeting to review the requirements for implementing initiatives to enhance criminal justice procedures. They discussed the joint work plan between the Judiciary and the Ministry of Justice, including the development of the e criminal system for criminal courts and the public prosecution, which aims to fully transition to digital in all judicial procedures. This system will contribute to saving time and effort for judges, members of the public prosecution and the supporting administrative bodies and developing accuracy standards as well as speed and performance. They also discussed the development of the unified e-system for international judicial cooperation which provides a common system for following up on procedures and requests for judicial cooperation and international legal assistance with the Supreme Judicial Council, the public prosecution and the ministry. Industry, Commerce and Tourism Minister, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority Chairman, Zaid bin Rashid Al Ziani, met the Jordanian Tourism and Antiquities Minister, Naif Al Fayez. The meeting was on the sidelines of the World Travel and Tourism Expo, being held at Excel London. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed bilateral relations, stressing the importance of expanding joint cooperation. 
Alziani underlined the role of the government in Bahrain in developing the tourism sector through programmes in cooperation with the private sector. The minister and his Jordanian counterpart toured Bahrain's pavilion at the World Travel and Tourism Expo, showcasing the kingdom's tourism credentials and mega-projects in this vital sector. On the sidelines of this participation in the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP26, the Special Envoy for Environment Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, SCE, Dr. Mohamed Mubarak bin Dana, affirmed the great strides Bahrain achieved in the environmental field. He hailed the speech of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the conference, which included strategic objectives that constitute current and future courses of action for the environmental sector in Bahrain. Bindana highlighted His Royal Highness's announcement of Bahrain's commitment to reduce emissions by 30% through decarbonisation initiatives and initiatives to enhance energy efficiency and multiply renewable energy sources, according to the goals set. He added that Bahrain is keen to participate in such an important event and promote cooperation between the participating countries to achieve the best results and positive recommendations that will be discussed at the conference with the relevant authorities to meet the desired goals and ambitions. Yesterday, the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrated Bahraini Doctors' Day, marking the efforts of frontline medical staff and recognising outstanding Bahraini doctors in the therapeutical and medical research fields to highlight the continued sacrifices for health and well-being of citizens and residents. And to speak more about this, we are joined on the phone by public health doctor, Dr. Mohammed Abdul Majid Alawadi. Hello, Dr. Mohammed. On Hi, this occasion, tell us more about the continued support you have been receiving from the Ministry of Health to be able to further contribute to the development of the medical field in the kingdom. Hi, thank you so much. Um, well, obviously, I would like to mention that Bahrain has been a pioneer in uh, developing the medical sector throughout the years. Uh, Bahrain has been extensively involved in training doctors for a long time. Bahrain has had um, uh, consultant doctors, senior consultants now, because of the years that they've had in training and in medical research because of all the hospitals that were built, the university hospitals that were built over the years, Bahrain has been heavily invested in residency programs and research. And this really reflects the vision of the leadership, the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the vision of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. And we have noticed this and we have witnessed this during the COVID pandemic, this, in, uh, this cross-sectoral uh, in integrated system that has been built and the cooperation between sectors and different entities in Bahrain with MOH, with the physicians, with the doctors, have really made it much, much less difficult to deal with the pandemic. And this is something that doctors, physicians, and everyone in the medical sector really appreciates. Um, Obviously, the world will always need doctors. They will always need physicians. So the continuous support and the continuous investment in medical research and residency programs uh, in doctors and physicians is something that is substantial and it's extremely important. Uh, and Bahrain will continuously do it because hopefully Bahrain with research that is published locally and internationally and with the continuous development of doctors and physicians in Bahrain, we can enhance health locally and we can even resonate our uh, experiences with regionally or even internationally, hopefully. Public health doctor, Dr. Mohammed Abdul Majid Alawadi, thank you for joining us. In light of the distinguished bilateral relations between Bahrain and Egypt, the Dialogue Centre for the Political and Media Studies in the presence of experts in the field of tourism organised a seminar about Bahrain and its new tourism strategy between 2022 and 2026. More in this report with Ahmed Nader. The Dialogue Centre for Strategic and Media Studies in Cairo organised a seminar under the title of In the Love of the Kingdom of Bahrain regarding the strategic goals and aims for tourism in between 2022 and 2026 for the kingdom. The Y strategy was approved by the cabinet in October of 2021, representing an extension to an earlier plan in the first version. During the seminar, the participants stressed that the kingdom of Bahrain possesses all the attractive tourism qualifications in different fields and specters to lure more tourists as well as diversify 
the tourism products. The Kingdom of Bahrain has launched a tourism strategy that will start next year in 2022 and up until 2026. It aims at highlighting the stance of Bahrain as an international tourism hub and increasing the revenues of tourism and its contribution in the gross domestic product in order to diversify the tourism products for the Kingdom. The discussions and deliberations within the seminar asserted that all of the participants predict a prosperous future for tourism in Bahrain in different types and periods and that the performance indices for 2026 are extremely bright. We are extremely interested in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the amazing developments that are being witnessed there. We can see the recent distinguished initiative in Bahrain, which is very important to enhance tourism. This initiative has different goals and pillars to reach that end. We can see that this is a very ambitious plan for Bahrain that lasts until 2026 to accomplish this strategy. Bahrain has all the qualifications to succeed in the field of tourism. It is high awareness of this important field and it is qualified calibers to deal with different types of tourism. Regarding the future plans, upon meeting His Excellency Minister Zaid Zayani there in Bahrain, I was highly impressed with the already laid out plans which satisfy the kingdom's ambitions and enhances tourism in Bahrain. I wish them all the success in the kingdom of Bahrain. The Dialogue Center for Strategic and Media Studies in Cairo chose the kingdom of Bahrain to discuss its serious tourism strategy as Bahrain possesses great history and civilization and deserves to boom in this fantastic field with the launch of the vision of Bahrain. Uh, regarding strategy, I believe that different countries around the world are aiming for sustainable development. Sustainable development is not just about the economic sector and human rights. It's not just about one field. It is of paramount importance that the state lays out a long-term plan for different fields, especially that we know that tourism is extremely important for the Kingdom of Bahrain. We as experts totally believe that Bahrain can attract tourists coming from neighboring countries and more specifically from Saudi Arabia. I have seen that with my own eyes. So tourism has a very important role to play in terms of the economy of the Kingdom of Bahrain, as it brings in a lot of foreign investments. This was Ahmed Nader reporting for the television of Bahrain in Cairo.